cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's up, baby? What's popping in the life of a cancer? Huh? What's going down with y'all? How does retrograde treating y'all right now? Are y'all staying grounded? Because I've been worried about y'all whooping somebody's ass. I've been worried about my cancers, my really my cardinals, period. But my cancers, because this retrograde is definitely, boy, these four retrogrades is definitely affecting my water babies in different ways, okay? So I don't like long intros. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of August for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and cross watches of the sign of cancer. My water babies, what? Okay? <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot to. Uh, to those of you for the is this your first time watching um everybody else hey boo hey to all of my new subscribers welcome to the family boo we laugh we may cry a little bit we love we don't judge we share we enlighten we lift up we grow all right so y'all this is not okay for a personal reading it's a general or if it don't apply let it fly you would think we shouldn't have to say that but you'd be surprised how many people be like, well, it wasn't. Oh, look, you know your life better than me, boo. Don't come at, thou shall not come at for the kid, okay? Don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, so this is for my cancers, all right? If you do need that personal, don't forget I have a reading special going on right now. For cancers, y'all good all month. Y'all actually have a $40 special up until August the 25th for um, a 30-minute reading, okay, which is normally fifty dollars or sixty five dollars if you schedule it in the same day it don't matter if you schedule it in the same day or not it's forty dollars so we can let's get that in also if you don't if you can't afford the 40 i also have a special on my 15 minute reading right now it is fifteen dollars instead of the twenty to twenty five dollars or twenty five dollars for the same day so get your reading in i actually opened up my schedule to be able to do nothing but this kind of reading for the next two to three days so y'all hit me up all right so let's get it the first message that I got uh, for my cancers for the 1st to the 15th of August comes from my Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels or Cards deck. Y'all message is Cario. Kind of like the chariot. Kind of like y'all cards. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. This card is reassurance that you are protected and that your prayers have been heard and answered. Perhaps you've been feeling vulnerable lately or have been attacked verbally, physically, or physically. Psych I'm sorry, psychically or physically. It appears that someone is challenging you and God and your guardian angels want you to know that they are watching over you and your loved ones. This is a sign that some emotional or physical issues could be stemming up from a psychic attack in which someone is sending anger or jealous energy your way. Praying to God and Jesus and calling upon Archangel Michael can help clear and shield you. Visualize yourself in a protective bubble of royal purple light, which is God's divine radiance that only allows love to enter and exit your fear. This purple light will bounce away negative energy and transmute it into healing love for both of you and the attacker. So instead of retaliating against the I'm sorry, retaliating against or fearing whoever sent negativity your way, you help bring healing love to the world. Okay, so I feel like some of y'all could be the energy that I felt from cancer off the roof was kind of like a, a sense of anxiousness. Okay, I know the anxiety that's external to you or your own anxiety, but we're gonna bust it. Some of y'all have brand new beginnings coming, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all have babies that's gonna be born. Congratulations, baby, or finding out that you're gonna be bringing a baby in the world soon. Some of y'all, um, um, are birthing new beginnings, okay, with an earth sign that's going to bring you much abundance, okay, much, much abundance, especially if this person had their own and you had your own, all right, but for some of y'all, I don't want y'all to go into it like a deer in the damn head, like, don't go in and afraid, okay, because I feel like for some of y'all, this is definitely a soulmate, but you're not able to receive this person fully because you need to ground yourself and let go of past hurts possibly caused by a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see that for some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be needing a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And this person is a divine lover to you. This person is coming to fulfill you all of that sensual feeling. Some of y'all will be feeling very sensual during this time, okay? Some of y'all will be getting promotions during this time. Some of y'all will have a windfall of abundance. That coin is a coming, honey, okay? Let's get it. Please give me a message from the 15th, first of the 15th of August. Cancer. Yeah, some of y'all are indecisive about a water sign. 
Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, this person wants to work with you, start something fresh with you and work with you. But some of y'all, some of y'all are stuck in third party energy. Stuck accepting it or possibly just being, just having that circumstance to be put in third party energy. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who puts you in third party energy? This person could be coming in to um, offer you a new beginning. Some of y'all have two people coming in to offer you a new beginning. And you don't know who you're going to choose. Because for some of y'all who I'm talking to, you don't even want the damn love. All right? Some of y'all uh, have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's coming in offering you love. This person, uh, you could have started a new job. You were focusing on your work and money. And here come this third party energy doing this retrograde. Finding your ass again. Coming with a new beginning okay maybe this person is coming in trying to help you financially during this time but i do see you kind of you got one foot in the door and one foot out the door as far as when it when it as it relates to air signs you not leave a i feel like you possibly wanting to or thinking about uh turning around a situation or repairing a situation with an aries a scorpio or a pisces some of y'all have a scorpio trying to come in and give y'all love but y'all having a hard time with working with, with focusing on work well, having a hard time with balancing out, focusing on work and moving away from your past because some of y'all are literally stuck in this third party energy. Some of y'all um, have a Taurus. You're going to find out that a Taurus put you in the third party and someone who you're married with. For those Cancers who are married, some of y'all could be finding out about a third party energy. Some of y'all are trying to make something, start get, get something off the ground passionately, um, emotionally. I do see uh, it's with the coin as well as give this person your cup, but you feel that there are secrets. Okay, regarding them, this could definitely be a Scorpio or an Aries. Okay, you want to move away from the past. You actually want to offer this person commitment, but you're kind of in your head about it. Maybe this person makes you feel rejected, or maybe this person make maybe you take on um, the burdens from this person. You have the What's the word I'm looking for? This Mercury retrograde is not agreeing with my Aryan self. You, maybe you have the tendency to pick up this person's burdens, okay? And you need to ground yourself and focus on self. But some of y'all, y'all, that coin is coming, baby. Some of y'all who've been looking for new jobs, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming after you actually cut off the things that don't serve you anymore, okay? Because everybody can't eat at your winning table. Yeah, some of y'all have an air sign that you're kind of conflicted about. This person could be younger than you. I feel like they communicate with you very childishly. Some of y'all, y'all actually really love this person, but you have to close the cycle on their ass or close that, clo communicate with this person, okay, or be receiving to their communication because y'all are definitely going to be getting communication regarding secrets, especially if it's involving another water sign or air sign. Some of y'all have a Scorpio from the past. You want to move, move, move past or move on with this person. You want to move forward with this person. But for some reason, I feel like you or this person stay stuck on past shit. And it's making it real hard for you to turn things around in, or in a positive way. And it's really starting to irritate you. So because of that, you're focusing on your money. Some of y'all are moving away from the past, love, period, and just focusing on your money, okay? I do see some of y'all will be juggling, or some of y'all have a Taurus that's juggling you, another earth sign, and a water sign. Or some of y'all are juggling another water sign in the Taurus, but it's definitely in the building. That three-party energy is here. Um... You know, somebody could also be juggling you, someone who you possibly are married to or want to marry. You can find out that this person is juggling you and another water sign. You're kind of in your head, okay, about an air sign or this air sign is in their head about you because you want to give them love. You want to start over with this person, but every time you move forward to this person or this person moves forward towards you, you make them feel rejected. Some of y'all want to mend y'all family from a fire sign, every single Sagittarius, that makes you feel rejected like you didn't pick me is what i'm hearing you didn't pick me um some of y'all have a capricorn towards virgo charging in this person got three-party energy written all over their ass and some of y'all gonna see it from a mile away because you in this loving state okay uh, for some of y'all it's a good look all right but some of y'all some of y'all have a, a earth sign coming in to offer a new beginning for you. And this could be very beautiful, but you stuck on either an air sign or a fire sign or a water sign from your past. Please cut off. Cut. Get, let that third party energy go. Cancel. This could be y'all. If you've been seeing a lot of threes, some of y'all are moving on away from a job from the past. Okay. But you're going to walk right into another job that's actually going to pay you way more money than what you thought you were going to be making. Okay. I do see some of y'all have 
people people coming back from the past during this retrograde offering everybody want to work on it everybody want to move forward some of y'all want to move forward victoriously with a fire sign Aries Leo Sag but this person uh, continuously put you in a third party. Some of y'all want to move past the third party and just move forward in a new way. Just leave the past in the past. And for some of y'all, y'all are going to be able to do that. For some of y'all, y'all will not. Some of y'all are definitely cutting off a Scorpio after a tower moment, okay? Um, I feel like some shit finna hit the fan and involving um, a Scorpio. Um, but you come, you're ending cycles with people and coming into new ones. And for some of y'all are going to involve new people. Yeah, some of y'all are in y'all head about moving forward and trying to start something over, start something fresh, okay, because you feel like, God damn it, I can't even communicate with you, you talk to me childishly, okay, you have this three-party ass energy around your ass, yeah, it sounds good, but what are you doing, okay, what you are doing is burdening the shit out of me, so some of y'all are definitely going to communicate that, okay, I feel like intuitively you've been supposed, you've been new, you supposed to communicate this, I feel strongly you're dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, you've been, you, you knew that you had to communicate communicate this, okay, but in order for you to have something new to move on fresh, baby, okay, to get your karmic just do, for some of y'all, it's a Libra, because some of y'all want to start over fresh with a Libra, okay, but in order for you to get your karmic just do, baby, you're going to have to communicate, drop them damn burdens, and communicate, don't communicate childishly, maybe you should write this, write it down to this person how you're feeling, but some of y'all, you have a fire sign, you love this person to pieces, but... They just made me feel burdened. Maybe you're feeling burdened or this other person is feeling burdened, but they can't see the love because of the burdens that they carry. Some of y'all have a Leo that is charging in to communicate with you. This person communicates directly. Trust your intuition, especially if y'all had some issues going on. Some of y'all intuitively can feel that a Sagittarius is coming or you're going forward towards a Sagittarius uh, and trusting your intuition, trusting what you feel and moving forward and telling this person, hey, I'm sorry. I apologize. I want my family back. I want to start over. Yeah, some of y'all definitely have a Leo. Uh, coming in, a new Leo. This gonna be somebody. For some of y'all, it's an old person. For some of y'all, it's a new person. And this person is wanting to uh, bring a newness to your life. They're gonna bring a newness to your life, and that newness is gonna involve good karma. You can put the work in. So why won't you think? Why don't you think it's time to for uh, for, your, for your damn fruits to sprout? Okay. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off, and there she go again. Queen of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off. Um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or communicating with this person. Hey, I love you, but I'm not going to move forward with you in this way. For some of y'all, you have a reciprocity issues, okay, when it comes to an earth sign. Some of y'all could also have an earth sign that you have children with this person. If they weren't paying child support, they're going to start during the month of August, okay? And you're going to get some communication regarding that coming in very soon. I'm here within the next eight days. Some of y'all, it's a Virgo. Um, who you're having the, 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 the non equal give and take with. Spirit is wanting you to fully heal, okay? Heal from this, this feeling of rejection, possibly from an Aries, okay? You're gonna have to cut this person off, cut off the thought, or cut off some, possibly cut off an air sign, alright? Or cut off the way that you view things. Stop looking at it as a perception of loss. Don't look at it as why, why, don't look at it as why me universe, okay? Don't think that the universe is working against you. Look at it like the universe is working for you because it knows what you need better than you do. A lot of y'all are needing to get grounded though. You're needing to ground yourself. Okay? During this period, just accept and trust what you don't understand because later on I'm hearing you will understand it and you're going to appreciate the choices this spirit help you make. Okay? I love y'all very much. Cancer, this is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of August. If you need that personal hit, me up. Holla at the kid. It's in the description. I love y'all babies until mid-month.